So in this video, we will be seeing about the mechanical and chemical methods of contraception. So this has been asked in the previous uh, exams as what are the advantages and disadvantages of mechanical or barrier methods of contraception and what are the possible side effects or complications of using mechanical or barrier methods of contraception. So I would say that this is a this topic is of um, only moderate importance. It is not that important because I have not seen much questions from this area. But however, you should you should know you should have an idea about what are the different mechanical or barrier methods and chemical methods which are used in contraception. So let's start. So mechanical methods or otherwise called barrier methods, they mainly act as a barrier so that the ovum and sperm cannot meet and fertilization cannot occur. So in males, the main mechanical method or the barrier method that is used is condoms. So this is a picture of the condom and uh, what are the advantages of using this uh, mechanical method? It is inexpensive, prevents sexually transmitted diseases and it protects against ectopic pregnancy. Okay. So what are the disadvantages? The disadvantages are that, are that it can tear during intercourse, it interferes with pleasure and allergy can cause contact dermatitis. So these are the major disadvantages and advantages of this uh, condoms as a mechanical method of contraception. So next we'll see the female methods of uh, mechanical method of contraception. So in females we've got female condoms which can be inserted into the vagina. So see this is the female condom which can be inserted into the vagina. So there's another picture showing the same. So the advantages are similar to that of the male, uh, male condoms but the disadvantages are that it can interfere with pleasure, it can cause UTI because in females because of the anatomy it can cause urinary tract infection. It cannot be used in females with prolapsed uterus. So if the uterus is prolapsed you cannot use it, use uh, female condoms for contraception. So these are the disadvantages of using female condoms. Another option is vaginal diaphragms. So here vaginal diaphragms are something like this. See, this also can be inserted up into the uh, cervical canal or the vaginal wall. So the problem is it is not sperm proof and we need to add spermicides along with it. So it can be, it cannot be used and, and again the disadvantage is that it cannot be used in prolapsed uterus and it can cause toxic shock syndrome because this vaginal diaphragm if it is kept there for a long time, it can cause infection and cause toxic shock syndrome. It can again cause cervical erosion and urinary tract infection because you are keeping here this high up near the cervical opening. So it can cause cervical erosion as well as urinary tract infection. So these are the disadvantages of vaginal diaphragm. So because these have disadvantages that is both vaginal diaphragm as well as uh, the female condoms have got disadvantages we have to couple this mechanical method along with the chemical method. So what are these chemical methods? Chemical methods basically means spermicides. So spermicides are used along with barrier methods because of failure rate of uh, mechanical methods are quite high. So they act as surface active agents that is they attach themselves to the sperm and decrease the oxygen uptake and kill them. Okay. So uh, it comes in many forms. So one form is so it can come as this cream of foam, spermicidal foam or spermicidal cream. But nowadays it is also available along with the vaginal sponge. So vaginal sponge is a contraceptive device which is the barrier method. Along with that, it has a spermicide which is 1 gram of nonoxinol 9. So, this, this it is called, it is marketed as today. So, this today is a spermicidal contraceptive. It is basically a barrier contraceptive plus a chemical, con, a chemical uh, spermicide. There is both barrier as well as spermicide involved. And it is called the vaginal sponge. It contains a contraceptive nonoxinol, nonoxinol 9. Okay. So, this is a very... Th that is about this um, mechanical and chemical methods. So in this video, we have dis discussed about the male mechanical method, which is the condoms. And for females, we've got female condoms, vaginal diaphragm and vaginal sponge. And we've also talked about spermicides, how they act and an example. So that's it. It's a very small topic. I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.